Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're going to go to the coast and try to catch some surf perch. And before we, be uh, before we begin, I'm going to show you how I set up my surf rig. Uh, got a question. Um, it's kind of a reoccurring theme that I get these uh, questions about the dropper loop um, once in a while. And uh, so to, to tie the dropper loop, it's pretty easy. Um, so let's say that's my line, that's my leader. Um, I'm going to make a loop like that. And then I'm just going to hold it like so. And I'm going to twist these two lines at the top. And then I go about five to six times. And then um, with that hole right there, you want to put your index finger through it. And then um, try to catch the bottom loop and pull it through like that. Okay. And you want to keep that uh, top loop you pull through, this one here. You want to make sure that it's taut. So don't let go of it and you just pull on this end and on this end, okay? While also raising your index finger so that there is tension on that loop. If you just pull it like this without holding that loop, it's going to pull right through. It, it won't work. So the key is keeping that loop right there. Keep it taut. All right. So, and then um, sometimes you pull it through and you get one side um, not tightening. Um, so that's easy to fix. Just uh, pull on the center loop a little more, kind of cinch it up. And then that's what you have right there okay so that is the dropper loop okay i'm going to do it one more time and I'll give you an alternative method so once again loop and then just uh twist the top two and then with your index finger um go go through that loop and pull the bottom loop through it like that okay now sometimes it can get a little awkward with your index finger so I have this uh, hook here that I tie to the ceiling you don't have to go like this crazy but um, you can hook that top loop on there okay and then kind of pull it tight like this just like that so that way that there's always tension applied to that loop okay so you can also um, do this with your you know hold, hold that top loop with your mouth but um, like I said in my previous videos I don't know if you want industrial chemical in your body so it might not be a good idea so it is a little awkward to, to, to try this to tie this dropper loop but it's very effective okay it's real really effective and the other question um, like people have concern with is um, I use a 12 to 15 pound mono line and sometimes the hook eye is too small and that won't go through so the easiest way is to get another line hook it through that loop like so and then kind of thread it through that eye of the hook like that and then you can pull that loop right through it okay that's how I do it so that is a dropper loop it's the only one I use for surf fishing It's very effective and uh, well it's easy to tie for me at least because I do it all the time um, also the uh, length of this loop so the length of the dropper loop, um, I would make it about probably three inches at the most. You don't want it too long. Like some people have a really long like this and dangle down. Uh, that's to me, um, that's not really good because you get that uh, hook. It tends to wrap around your line. So it gets tangled. It also, because it's long, it gets tangled with either the top or the bottom hook. So just kind of keep it short, about two to three inches is enough 
for the surf perch bait I was using today, uh, it's not sand shrimp, no, sand, sand worms. Um, I use uh, these gulp shrimp. Um, they're the two inch color. Uh, these work pretty good too. And of course, you know, my tried and true gulp sand worms, they work really well too. It doesn't matter. So either this or the uh, sand worms. Um, they also have these in like the mole crabs. And I've never used those before. Um, maybe I will someday, but these are really good bait for uh, catching surf perch. And these are the hooks I use. Um, these are the Gamagatsu bait holder hooks. I really like them. They, uh, they are really sharp, super, super sharp. Uh, these are the bait holder size number two. Um, they work really well. They do have like two barbs on the shank and that kind of helps prevent the, uh, sand, uh, the sand worms from uh, slipping down. So number two, bait holder hooks by Gamagatsu. And this is a swivel that I use. Uh, this is a two ounce disc sinker. I like disc sinkers a lot because they don't roll as much. And I notice when I use a pyramid sinker, you get that rapid, it's kind of like uh, running a number two pencil on a table, you know, you get that rapid tap. Um, that's how it feels like when I use the, uh, pyramid sinker. But when I use the disc sinker, uh, I don't feel anything. It rolls less because it's flat like a disc. Um, it's, it lays down on a sand. So two ounce disc sinker. All right, let's go catch some surf perch. Hey, what's going on there folks? PK here. Welcome back. So today I got Brian with me and, uh, we're going to try to catch some surf perch right here on the Oregon coast. Uh, warm sunny uh, day, a uh, pretty warm morning here, um, slight breeze, and uh, we are fishing an outgoing tide. Low tide is about um, 30 minutes, so we did pretty good uh, before, um, yesterday actually, and uh, hopefully um, today is going to be the same thing. So uh, you ready, Brian? Ready? Okay, man, let's do it. Let me show you guys what Brian is using and what bait, what rig he's using. Uh, this is a high-low rig. And on the bottom, he has a pyramid sinker. Is that a three ounce or two uh, ounce? Two, two. That's a two ounce. He has three hooks on here, a mono leader, and a swivel right there, okay? So really simple rig, and uh, it's been very effective for him. All right, cool. For me, exact same thing. I have a two ounce disc sinker, uh, sand shrimp, just like Brian. And uh, I got three on. And for my hooks, I'm using a number two Gamagatsu bait holder hook, all right? And I'm also using mono leader. And my mono leader is pretty long. So here is my double uni knot, okay? It's between the the first and a second eye, so it's a pretty long uh, leader. Uh, the leader I use is about eight to nine foot long, okay? I'm using a 10 foot salmon rod. All right, so let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it, man. Let's catch some fish. Right, there we go, folks. First cast. Come on, Sir Perch. The waves today is uh, pretty calm, actually. It's about three, three and a half foot and about 10 seconds apart. It's not too bad at all. Yesterday was a little rough. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had it. Oh, man. He was so close. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Woo! First fish, guys. First fish. Oh, yeah. I moved to get this guy. I moved a little bit. Oh, he feels like a good one. 
You know what? We are cooking fish taco today. So I'm gonna keep the uh, bigger ones. Feels like a really good one, guys. Feels like a really good one. Could, is that a double? Could be a double. Oh, I got a double, guys. I got a double. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Double. Woo. Okay, there we go, guys. Double right there. But you know what? Uh, kind of small, actually. So we'll let them go. There we go, there's a nice one. We're gonna let him go. Deep water, okay, there goes the first one. Go buddy, go home. Here's the second one, the second one is a female. So we're gonna let her go as well. Okay, okay, okay buddy. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> okay, there we go. Okay guys, there we go gonna let her go just like that that's a female you know what they're kind of small so I didn't want to keep her we need the bigger ones for the fish taco so first fish turned out to be a double that was really cool try to get a bigger one there we go let's see if we can get a bigger one Man, I hope I don't regret letting those fish go. The day is still young though. I think we can get more. Oh, there's a, oh my goodness. Oh, he was so close. Holy cow. I'm not kidding guys. Probably about 25 feet in front of me. No joke. No joke at all. Look at that. They, this one was so close to me. Holy cow. It's a little small, so we're gonna let her go. Actually, it's a he. All right, buddy, there you go. Thanks for the fun, by the way. It's weird, like they always, they always swim towards me when I release them. Well, it makes sense because uh, they always swim towards structure towards safety. So back to back fish guys. We need one about probably 10 to 11 inches to cook with. I couldn't believe how close he was. I might have to start keeping them, you know, just in case the day slows down. Oh, there's a crab right there. Right there guys. There he goes. That's the second crab I saw this morning. Oh, there's another one. There we go. There we go. Fish number four. There we go. You know what? Uh, depending on how big he is, I might keep him. I might keep him. Oh, man, it's kind of small. Shoot. Kind of small. About the same size. There we go, guys. That's a little small for fish tacos. We'll let him go. Okay, buddy, bye-bye. There you go, boom, gone. There it is, guys, that's my bait right there. See that? Sand shrimp, number two bait holder hook by Gamagatsu. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy. Good job, Ryan. Look at that. Oh, we'll keep that one, buddy. We're gonna keep that one. Look at this. Oh, that's a male, too. Nice catch. Nice catch. My reel is starting to seize up on me. Uh oh. Yeah, so that was on the uh, sand shrimp. The worm, actually. Oh, the sand, well, sand actually, worm. I don't know which one do you think? I think it was a worm. Right on. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Sweet. We're gonna keep it. We got. We got one for fish taco, guys. 
All right, guys, so Brian just caught this nice surf perch. Uh, that's a male, uh, you can tell because they're the dip in the anal fin, and it's got the little bump right there, okay? The female have a straight anal fin. So we're gonna keep this one for the fish tacos. Sweet. Oh, oh, there's one. Woo! Oh, I lost it. No, I got it. I got it. Yeah! Oh, there we go. There we go. This bite is on. Feels like a really good one too, guys. I can feel the head shaking. It's been, uh, it's, actually it's not like a really hot bite. It's just been kind of on and off every 15, 20 minutes. So, it's a little slow, but we'll take it. If I can land this one, it'd be my fifth fish. Oh, he's a good one, I think. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. All right, there we go, guys. Man, I know that's a female, but you know what? I'm making uh, some tacos today. I'm gonna keep her. That's a really good size. Perfect for the frying pan. Well, guys, I know she's a female, but we're gonna keep her. Oop. There we go. It's a nice one right there. So we got two. We probably need about one more to cook with. Um, so we got two so far. To, we need about probably one more about this size and then we're good. And because we're going to cook with it, you always want to bleed the fish. And that's really simple. All you do is just like cut the gills. That's it. Okay guys, let's go grab another one. We got about 30 minutes before the tide comes up. We're crossing a trough, so we can't be out here for very long. You gotta watch out, because those troughs, they can fill up with water really fast. Yeah, the bite has been all right. It's not like it's fast and furious, but it's been kind of consistent. Probably about every 20 minutes. Oh, there's a hit. Is that, is that a fish? There's a hit, guys. Oh, oh man, there's another hit. Oh, there's a hit. Is that a fish? Oh yeah, that's a fish. Woo. Oh, oh man, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. He took it right as it landed. Feels like a really nice one. Really solid. I'm casting out there pretty much as far as I can. And uh, sometimes they take it when it lands. And most of the time they take it between where I where my bait land and where I stand so probably about you know 30 35 feet away that's that's where most of my bites occur but this guy uh, he took it right as a bait landed oh man I think he's a good one guys it feels like he's a really good one well unless it's a double sometimes you get like two small doubles which can feel like a pretty big fish where is it at? Where is it at? Ooh. Ooh, I think that's a big one, guys. Oh, that's a nice one. Wow. Wow, look at that. That is a female. That's a female, guys. Oh, she's full of babies. She is full of babies. Okay, girl. Okay. We'll gently remove the hook. Come on. Oh, come on. Dang it. Okay, there we go. That's a big female. She's full of babies, so we're gonna let her go. All right, girl. Go back. Let's go to deeper water. Go a little bit deeper water. Okay, there we go. There we go. Boom, there she goes. That was a nice female. Let's try to get a male. I should have kept the males this morning. But, you know, they were kind of on a small side. Okay, let's get another one. 
That was back to back. Oh, there's another one, guys. Oh, I had it. Shoot. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good hit. Dang it. I missed it. And that bite was really close to me. Man. Come on, buddy. Give me a big male surf perch. I want like a 16 inch. That would be really nice. And that would probably be my record. Oh man. He nipped the tail of my sand, sand shrimp. Oh, there's a hit. Oh yeah, there we go guys. Woo! There we go. This one is about five minutes from the last one. Much smaller one, not a big one at all. Oh, actually it's not bad. There we go. Catching all females. Nice perch. Okay, there we go. Beautiful looking red tail. There you go, buddy. So far, this morning has been really good. There's a crab right here, guys. See that? Right there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but she's right there. Um, now, when you see those crabs buried in the sand, try not to disturb them because they're laying eggs. Oh, oh, there's one. There's one, guys. Oh, yeah. There's a nice one. Look at that rod shaking. That's what you want to see. Woo! Let's walk back, bring him in, and see what he is. Hopefully it's a male so we can keep it. Oh, he's a small one. He, he just fights hard. Is that a male? Yeah, that's a male. Yeah, we're going to keep this one, guys. Oh, awesome hook set, too. Awesome hook set right on the lower jaw right there, guys. Woo! Okay guys, so here's another fish. Really cool hook set. Perfect hook set. On the bottom jaw, and that's a male. So it looks like something took a nip off her anal fin, or his anal fin. There it is, so that's number three. I think we got enough for uh, cooking, so. Oh, there's a hit, guys. Double. Double. Woo. Is that a female? Male? Okay, hold on. Male? Yeah. Yeah. I got one on. Let's see. Yeah, that's a male. Kind of small, actually. Let's let him go. Yeah. This one is a pretty good one. There we go. Oh, little fighter. This guy's got spunk. That is a female. Right there, guys. Oh, waves are coming up, I think. Careful, careful. Yep. There we go, guys. We doubled up. Boom, there she goes. Pretty good bite today. Really? Nice.
yeah, there's another one, guys. Woo! There we go. Really awesome morning bite. Doesn't feel very big, though. Probably the same size as the last one. But I think we're going to keep this one. You know? Oh, man, kind of small. Kind of small, though. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of small. Let her go. There we go. Yeah. I'll, uh, next time I'll bring it. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. We came to a different area. Oh, oh, dude, that was a hit. Right away. Oh, my goodness. I was about to say, we came from the other place because uh, the tide's coming up. And it's getting too deep. Oh man, I missed that hit. Holy smokes. Right as it landed too. Man. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Is that a fish? Oh no, I lost it. What is that there? Oh, there we go. I got him. Wait, what is going on? Do I got a fish or not? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do, guys. Do I? I think. He must be a tiny, tiny one. Oh, I do got one. Yeah, there we go. There we go, guys. Oh, he took it deep. Ah, oh, shoot. Swallowed it. Well, gonna have to keep you, buddy. There we go, guys. New beach, second cast. Uh, you know what? That's a female, full of babies. She goes back. Okay, there we go. Got her free. All right, girl. Full of babies. Her belly's kind of big. Okay, there you go. Bye-bye. All right, guys, so moved to a new spot. Um, just had that one fish, not a whole lot of bite. So I'm gonna move um, probably about 200 feet, a little bit north. Try to find these guys. I see Brian just got one. Looks like a small one. That's the thing with these fish. You just have to uh, be mobile. Just walk the beach and try to find them. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. There we go, finally. Fish on. This one we're going to keep. I don't care. I don't care, man. We're going to keep this one. I want to have four fish for cooking. Feels like a really good one. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, guys. There we go. Another perch right there. All right, guys. There we go. Another perch. You know what? We're gonna make this our last fish. We ain't got enough. But from what I learned over the over the past is, uh, and very important is you get all the. Well, I uh, don't know. Maybe I didn't press record all this time. Oh well. Why is there a bone between here? That's so weird. I never seen like that. Never seen a bone there before. That is so weird. Well, guys, these fillet are gonna be very small. So. I wanna start exploring like south of here. Have you filleted this before, Brian? Uh, I've filleted probably like eight of them. Okay. And I just butchered them big time. 
Yeah, they're they're not easy. They take a lot of practice. And all these years I I can never get get good at it. And I just feel guilty like then I just end up not keeping them. <laughs> yeah. I mean I can catch them, I just can't clean these things. All right, guys, we got our filet right here, and I'm going to use this uh, Creole seasoning, okay? Really simple, nothing complicated. We're gonna sprinkle on top of the filet and then pan fry it. Okay, right there. Sprinkle some. And then one way to tell if you have worm or not is to hold up to the light. Oh, you see right through them? Yeah, because sometimes the fillets are thin enough that it's translucent. Yeah. But I don't mind actually because we're going to cook the hell out of it. Somebody told me like uh, in the summertime is when they have them the most or something. And then in the winter they die off a little or something. It's possible because... Uh, during the summer, they feed on the sand crabs. I'm gonna cook it, put it on the plate, and then we are good. It's like every catch and cook, I forget the flame, I forget the gas. <laughs> like five out of 10 times, I, I forget. But I got it today. Perfect. There's our filet guys, right there. Waiting for the pan to heat up and then we're gonna put in the fish. All right, Brian, here goes the fish. Here goes the fish. Sizzle? Yeah, that's what we want. Oh, look at that. Look how they kind of they get smaller and they shrivel up. Oh, that smells good, you know? The thing with the perch is like the meat is really soft, really mushy. When you pan fry it like this, it's kind of hard to flip it because it falls apart really easily. Gonna flip it one last time. All right, now we're gonna heat up a corn tortilla. Do you add in oil to the pan when you heat it up? Uh, no? no, no. Okay. Do you guys prefer a corn tortilla or flour tortilla? Which is better? Both? It doesn't matter? Yeah. You like both? Okay. 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 Let's do it, guys. There we go. What do you guys think? Beautiful. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Chow down. Oh, it tastes really good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Cabbage is good. Mm. Yeah. Delicious. Seasoned vinegar. Really good. Mmm. Like the flavor of it is really good. That's pretty good. Man.
It's awesome to just go catch them and bring them right back and pick them up. So fresh. And so you can keep all the fish and sell for other people in the parking lot. <laughs> you mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. A little taco stand. It's really good. He made money. <laughs> Man, that fish is good. It's so fresh right out of the water. Oh, you can taste the difference. It's really good. Yeah. Mm-mm. Well, guys, um, we're going to end it here. I want to thank Brian Araceli for coming. Had a great time. They were on it today, man. It was like the bite was pretty good. Started off about 7.30 a.m. and... Uh, just throughout the t throughout the day that kept on biting so we did really good and uh so i i will see you guys next time have fun fishing tight lines <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna have one more <laughs>